mon Ells back, everybody. And he's really really bad at delivering pertinent information in a timely fashion. But first, the storyline with the happy ending, mern has been rattling around the Dio for three weeks and four days, before he finally asks Wynne for directions to the restroom, and I have so many questions. He also asks Wynne for permission to go, prompting Wynne to tell John that he might want to take his father out into the world, so Mern will feel less trapped. The outing to get coffee, aka brown water, doesn't go terribly well. While Mern understands the appeal of cut-off fee, he says that he's not the prisoner of the Dio, John is. Just look how many times he's glanced at his smart device. John bristles at first, but eventually comes around, escorting his father to an apartment, where they can both live. Work made him feel useful, after he lost everything on Mars, but John says he also lost sight of his father's lessons, to seek out the beauty of life. Mern says Earth is no Mars, but it's still beautiful too, and he agrees to move into the apartment with John. This storyline makes my heart happy, and I hope we return to it often. Okay. In less heart happy news, a submersible investigating the effects of the submarine attack in the season premiere discovers a mysterious ship, which blasts it with a beam of light. Wynne uses geothermal cameras to reveal its location. Based on the rock layer, he estimates it's been down there for 12,000 years, and based on the unknown metal components, he estimates it's not from Earth. Rather than let Supergirl spin herself into a drill to tunnel through a city sidewalk, hey, she saw Clark do it once, John uses his powers to transport them all onto the ship.